do you have a Lincoln scent that has strange raised areas on it or long lines that almost looks like that Lincoln speared or a ridge line inside the rim? Uh, and if you do, have you ever wondered if it was rare or valuable or what it was? Well, stay tuned because in this video, you're going to find out. My name is Daniel and you're watching Quinn Help You. Thanks for watching my latest video. Today we're going to talk about Lincoln Scents, uh, mainly Lincoln Scents from 1982 to now. And we're going to look at strange shapes on those coins and we're going to talk about what they are and what they mean. So we're going to look at some images and we're going to talk about it. Okay, here's the first one. And I'm going to want you to look at this right here and these lines. They almost look like they're going through uh, the Lincoln's bust. And as you turn, you can see them a little bit better. Uh, sometimes they look like they are raised areas. I know sometimes they can look like they're uh, into the coin. But these are raised areas on the coin. And it's really common to see this. Um, these coins are plated, for one thing. And I'll show you some more examples here. You know, this one here is actually coming out of his forehead. Like I said, these coins are plated and the plating is very thin and sometimes the zinc planchet that's underneath might have impurities on it, um, wasn't properly uh, rinsed. And here's the line here through uh, his cloak. And when that happens and the plating is applied, actually it doesn't adhere very well to the actual zinc planchet. So you've got what they call little pockets and those can raise uh, during the minting process during the strike and actually form what we call plating blisters okay and not only that it can also right around the devices here's plating bubbles but right around the devices um, you can kind of see it a little bit uh, a mint mark uh, where you'll see a little gray showing um, that gray is the zinc underneath where that plating has split away from the mint mark. A lot of people mistake that for RPMs or repunch mint marks, but it's not. Around this coin, you see toning. That's just where it was improperly stored. It's just ugly toning on the coin. It's not anything special. But you can see all these plating blisters on the coin. And it's pretty extreme on this one. And then another thing... Um, a lot of times, too, you'll have the push plating. You'll have, there's different terms for these plating issues. Sometimes it's caused by die wear as well, the fatigue. Uh, this one here is an example you see a lot. It has a ridge right inside and underneath the letters. And that is from dye deterioration. And I'll show you the different angles. I see this a lot in the groups. People are wondering what it is. And it's just a ridge, and it's really common. I've got several rolls, and I can pick out a few of these in every roll. It's real common on a scent. And now i got another one here to show you. Uh, this one here. And, and they're not all going to be exactly the same. You know, uh, but like I said, this kind of determines uh, dye stages and states and things like that. But yeah, you can see it. It's really common through the In, in God We Trust. You'll see that a lot on these. Then you have this and hopefully you can see it really well in these images but you've got die file lines all over this coin and I mean there's scribbles right in here the steps are actually gone it's not uncommon for the hammer die to clash with the anvil die without a coin in between and when that happens what they do they go in they want to remove the clash marks and they will uh, use abrasives on this and when they do, sometimes they don't polish them out enough. And sometimes they'll remove parts of the coin. They'll, they'll remove lettering or part of the building or make it a floating roof or uh, remove the designer initials. That, that's really normal and that happens a, a lot. You'll see that a lot. And here's an example of that. This is where you're almost missing the zero and the date. You can see it. It's a little bit of the hair in God we trust. Sometimes that can be missing. And that's what you're seeing when you're looking at these coins. Uh, they're actually just where the dies were 
you know, pr basically retooled or resurfaced, I should say, and have that way they could continue using them to strike the coins. And since these were business strikes, there wasn't a lot of attention to detail on it. You'll have little anomalies like this on a coin. I do want to point out something really fast that the grease that they use to polish this or the polishing compound also gets clogged in the dye. And we're seeing some of that here as well. That's also caused some of this to not be struck that well because the dye was filled a little bit. But just know, you know, they don't add value to a coin. Uh, they don't, uh, they're not anything special. They're just too common. You can go through several view rolls of these and you'll find a lot of these anomalies on the coins. And one last thing that I want to show, and this is actual damage, is what this is. I see this a lot. This isn't anything to do with the die, okay? This is the coin that was actually damaged. Somebody rubbed this coin either with sandpaper or on concrete. You know, you can take a coin and go like that. I, I did a video showing how you can do that. And, you know, it's basically, it's just damage is what it is. Here's another one. And you can hardly see it, but you do see a little bit of the gray on the end, uh, the rim there. And it, like I said, it's just a damaged coin. You can see some more of it rubbed off in that area. And then here's one more. So, yeah, you can kind of see what's, what's going on here. It's just, it's not an error. It's just damaged. So I hope that helped clarify for some of you that when you see a strange shape or a strange anomaly on a Lincoln scent and it looks like this, then you know that it's really common and it's just where the mint um, made a you know little error, let's say, in polishing it out or refinishing the surface after a clash or the, like I said, the zinc planchet uh, didn't adhere to the copper plating like it should. Uh, you know, then of course the damage at the end there where people can remove the copper plating, it's very thin and underneath is like a gray planchet that's made out of zinc. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share and comment and have a great day.